Hello explorers and welcome to another session of our Dice Mention campaign, The Relenting. Before we start this session, the three wonderful adventurers that we have. Marv the Marvellous is sat on the steps writing a song for King Rolandus. Orgorog the Mighty Orc is downing a beer, <laughs> surprise surprise. And Talissa is uh, medicating herself in some mysterious ways while Revel is making sure that the carriage and the horses are fine because they are now going to go on a two month journey to make sure that the king gets back to the capital of Mamora nice and safely. So I am going to pass it over to these wonderful explorers and pioneers to let me know how you're getting on. Road trip. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's start with you today. Me? Okay. Yeah. So I am in my... Uh, I'm not really convinced of this adventure, but there's literally nothing else I can do as per usual. Um, so again, I'm taking my time. We are probably gonna... We are gonna go in about an hour. So mm -hmm. I really use this time to relax a little bit, to rest, to medicate my shoulder and to take my time in, in silence. I don't want to hear because okay. I, with the battle and, you know, all the problems with all the murder mystery, I was just too overwhelmed with, with information. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna get you to roll a perception for me, oh. I'm not sure one. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> you try really, really hard to relax, but it seems like every time you close your eyes to try and meditate, you hear like a squeaking floorboard, or a door closing, or the wind howling outside, or someone shouting downstairs, and unfortunately you don't really feel oh, particularly so rested. I'm on the bed and I take the pillow and I'm just like, oh, what do I do to get an hour of, of relax in this crazy, crazy place? And I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> She's very upset. Absolutely. <laughs> um, and I'm writing uh, a song for the king. Um, okay. And uh, he's promised me fame and wealth, all of the things that a successful bard needs and wants to thrive. Absolutely. Um, and uh, I'm more than happy to go along as far as my, my feet will carry me. <laughs> See what happens. Okay, so can you roll a... Mm, what sort of song are you writing? A heroic one a about, heroic. That about, really. about someone returning to claim his birthright. Okay, so can I get you to roll a strength check, please? Uh -huh. This is an unusual song. Absolutely. I work in unconventional ways. <laughs> well, you need to. Are you? It's it's kind of like you're doing. Uh, what do they call them? Those actors that get into character by mm -hmm. being their characters. Mm. That's what you're trying to do at the moment. You're trying to be as strong as you possibly can to write a, exactly to write a song of strength. Can I do that with an A? No. <laughs> <laughs> Rip it up. <laughs> that, was, like, that was a pretty average song. It was a bad one. Your... Yeah. Yeah. I scrunch it up and throw it over my shoulder. Okay. Mm. Great. And then recollect it because I don't want anyone stealing my, my work. <laughs> <laughs> so basically from the tavern, there is someone currently watching you. Hello. How can I help you? Are you a, an adoring fan? I don't know who you are. Why are you staring at me then? You just littered. I picked it back up. Like I care, I could take a shit on the floor and then clean it up, I'd still be taking a shit on the floor. <laughs> it's entirely your right to do that, it's not for me to judge, I'm not the patron of this tavern. How dare you? This is a respectful establishment. Uh, okay, well I'm a respectful person. Apparently not, you're littering. But I picked it back up. <laughs> he just sort of turns around. <laughs> you obviously don't understand the frustrations of an artiste. He stands back up again, converts it over to you and he says, Are you trying to fight me, mate? I'm just trying to put you in your place, sir. You just seem like a bit of a idiot. Do I see this? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Well, you roll intimidation and can Ogre roll roll perception. <laughs> you're, yes. you're an idiot. <laughs> This is literally what I'm trying to avoid! <laughs> you can hear every single so one of this. So <laughs> much noise! Three. Twenty-four. You can't hear anything. <laughs> okay, he... swings. <laughs> oh my gosh! He hits. Yay! And you take... four... bludgeoning damage. <laughs> what?! Well, I must be seeing and this he, And point. he goes to... Grapple you? No, you still can't see it. Oh. <laughs> he, goes to, he goes to grapple you, so can you roll a strength check, please? And he's also going to roll a strength check. Eleven. He grapples you okay. and he pins you to the floor. Oh dear. He's like, Oh an idiot, am I? You can hear that. So now I turn to him like, What what's going on over there? He called me an idiot. <laughs> well, I mean, here's one, but he doesn't need I mean just stop it, alright? And I look at him with a stern look and I'm like, just stop it, okay? Yeah, you better do as he says. Uh, I said just fucking stop it, alright? Okay, so now I'm gonna get you to roll into invasion. Because <laughs> it seemed like you were trying to persuade me. I tried it, but... by the way. It's nine. Who are you guys? This is a respectful establishment. You come in here calling people idiots, littering, and threatening people. I picked it back up. So, we, I mean, he is an idiot, but we are the guys who actually saved your town. So, if you don't want to end up like the guys that we actually killed to save you, you might as well stop right now. That wasn't particularly intimidating. So, <laughs> <laughs> hearing all of this noise, I come out and I'm like, can I get a bit of silence? And I try to, you know, I just don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to do a bit of drama and I literally light up my hand with fire and I just try to catch the attention so that they can shut up. Roll a performance check okay. please. 17 plus 7 so <laughs> it is 24. Four. Yeah. In a second the entire place goes silent. Oh, much better. Thank you. And I look at them like, guys, like, what are you doing? Can you...? In my defence, I was just writing a song. You kind of hear <coughs> and scraping of, like, chairs, mm. and that's all you can hear at the moment. You'll never hear me saying that again, but I was just trying to save him a bad way. <laughs> but, or maybe I wanted to punch this guy, uh, maybe not. Um, but yeah. Okay. Can you please try to stay safe, at least? We need to start the trip. Just wait an hour. Just an hour, okay? A little bit of silence. And then I just do that and I go back without looking at anyone. <laughs> Everything's deadly silent now. Include, including the guy who has you grappled. He is not saying a word. Can you let me up now? Are you with her? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Don't litter again. I picked it back up. <laughs> and then I walk out. <laughs> Revel comes in and... <laughs> Why is everyone quiet? <laughs> something they seem frightened to death uh, I'm, I'm not really feeling it the ambience in there is a little bit off today um, I think the battle is kind of down from the mood I'm just uh... <laughs> she grips your shoulder and physically pushes you back but, uh, uh, okay <laughs> <laughs> this is your job is it not <laughs> yeah okay so uh, I'll go up to the front of the uh, to the bottom of the stairs again where I first performed and I will dedicate this song to all the people out there who are not that intelligent or bright uh, and aren't, aren't fond of things like verbal littering and that sort of thing. So I'm going to do it with the loop. So it's going to be an ironic, hateful song. Yes, because I'm petty. 14. 
Someone grabs a bottle and smashes it into the face of the person next to him, who then flips the table, <laughs> who then goes to cram a knife out of the table to swing it at someone. You've started a bar fight. Yes, bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> and Revel storms up to you with this face. I walk up to her and I try to tap on her shoulder and I'm like, I mean, you know he's an idiot, but, and you know how much I would like to fight them all now, but probably we have better things to think about. <laughs> Just saying. Otherwise, we can kill all your patrons and move on with it. I don't care. Could do it now. She kind of puts her hand and kind of pushes your, your hand off, off your shoulder. But not in a, not in a harmful way. It's more just like she needs a space. And her, the, the end of her finger touches you on the nose, says, I'm warning you. And she flicks the nose that had been a previously punched. So it really, really hurts. Never do that in any of my establishments again. I'm very sorry that no one here understood my sense of humour. But I'm very sorry for causing a bar fight. I'm gonna go, can I go now? Yeah, Thanks. next time my boot will be on your throat. And she rings this very large bell I'm behind the bar <laughs> and everybody comedically is like... <laughs> <laughs> and just drops everything, He's like... Sorry Revel, he got us really, really riled up. She's like... Yeah, fine, fine. I don't really care anymore. Grabs a couple of, of tankards, starts putting it in her bag and a couple of bottles. The chef comes out with a very large wicker tray with lots of different dried fruits and dried herbs and seasonings and it's like, Revel, I think this should be enough for the two month journey. We'll be feasting very, very well and starts walking up to So I walk up to, to him and I'm like, what the fuck were you even writing before it all started? I like, just, can't you just stop it already? I was just doing my job, man. I was writing a song about the king and this guy, who I've never seen in my life, just started picking a fight with me. I mean, you could have called me earlier and we could have finished it well, off. I could have, but I got all up in my head and all up in my feelings. The song wasn't my best, I got frustrated, and then this guy comes to me and says, No, not today! Okay? Sorry, didn't mean to raise my voice. Alright, okay. <laughs> I mean, I, but thank you for trying to help. What were you writing about? The king, but what about the king? What do you know about the I, king? I, I was writing about his destined, preordained journey back to the capital to reclaim his birthright. Do you reckon that could be a good one? Yes, because we will succeed. And we will oh succeed. no, I'm not. I'm not doubting about the success, successful journey. I'm more about the king itself. Like you yeah. have to write up a lot of bullshit to make it good. Um, I mean, like, probably you are good at that, but well, there's <laughs> creative liberties in this industry, but it's more or less true. Do you remember what the king actually asked you to write about? Um, I'm sure it was something to do with being king and and being in the capital. Was okay. that about? Oh, I mean, he must have something sorry. with the stars. He likes stars. Like he likes stars. He likes the, the night sky. He clearly likes that a lot more than being a king. But not in my song. He's a heroic king. He's going to take his throne back because that just sells better than I'm a king, but I prefer looking at the sky. I mean, I don't know anything about songs, and I'm not. I mean. No, so I might as well kill all of them. Yeah, just, just leave it to the professionals, honestly. Yeah, yeah but do you reckon that's a professional move not to do what somebody asked you asked you to do? Just... I can incorporate. I haven't finished the song yet. I can add something about the stars in the last stanza. All oh, the last stanza. <laughs> we got the yeah. bro. Wow. You know, all right. <laughs> he was I, I clearly didn't understand that word, and I was like, woof. <laughs> 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 Look, can we just go already? I'm getting really bored. This is one backwater village. Revel looks down at you when you say that. I mean, it's a very charming paradise at the end of the world. I mean, it's not, it's not his day, so live in B for now. It's just... In all fairness, all of my greatest hits have been things that have been my own and have been my own volition. And f frankly, you did coerce me into performing. That's all I'm going to say. Can you roll... Persuasion, please. 15. She grabs the rope 
that was in the back of one of the wagons and uh. starts lassoing <laughs> and throws it over you and yanks you um, into her. So can you roll a strength check, please? I'm not good at those. Ten. And she just pushes your nose and you just fall to the ground. <laughs> And she puts her boot on <gasps> on your throat. She says, another word out of you today and I will crush this. You will never be able to sing again. This is the Nod, if you understand. <laughs> and she turns to you and says, oh, Grog, would you happily create a gag and put it in his mouth, please? Of course, let me do that. Thank you. <laughs> I put it in his mouth like a pig. <laughs> then I, I grab him on my shoulder and I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> right? And I chuck him in the way. Thank you. Oh, please. Just, alright? Mm -hmm. Okay. In the meantime, I try to sneak into the kitchen because I want to talk to the chef. Okay, roll sneak. <laughs> Stealth check, sorry. Okay. 16. Okay, yes, you sneak into the kitchen quite well. And because I don't want them to see me, and I'm like, <clears throat> Oh, hello, my lady. Can I ask something? Yes. Would you be so kind to bring some of your cakes <laughs> during this trip? Because I would probably miss them if you don't bring them to the trip. <laughs> I mean, I. I, I <laughs> what do we <you> mean? <laughs> um, can you roll persuasion, please? <laughs> Oh, yeah, 24. <laughs> he says, yes, absolutely. I, I can bring the base ingredients. I, I will be cooking out in the wild, so they might not be as good, but I will try my best for you, my lady. Thank you. Just... Scraping in some flowers and <laughs> into small um, barrels and starts crushing up some petals and lemon zesting and things like that. <laughs> and just turn and then I go back. Because I want to see where everyone is. Because I mean, they said that we, we were about to be ready, but mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> as you walk out of the tavern, you see him off laying in the back of a uh, of a wagon with a gag in his mouth. <laughs> is he part of the? Yeah. Of so the... he he had the brilliant idea of fucking up everything again. So then Revel argued with him, and then he started pissing over on the town again, then Revel heard him, and then she was about to kill him. So the result is this, and we're lucky that he's still alive. So Not that I care, but at least he's there, and we have some more hands for the trip. So we're gonna cook him. <laughs> Could be a good one. I don't necessarily like eggs, but no, no, I don't think he tastes good, but... Nah. 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 But, so, what, what did you do in the meantime? You could have said something to her. Oh, uh, believe me, I tried, but she's, she's, no, I mean, I mean, we don't, I mean, I don't know her that much, I mean, I kind of know her, I guess, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I cannot really convince her when she's fuming and she was, because this fucker was just like, uh. uh, calm down, calm down, I'm gonna just talk to Marv, so just do any sign, is there anything that you have to take from the tavern? Your belongings, anything that you left behind. Okay, fine. So you're ready. I am ready. I am. So we're just waiting for Revel, I think. I think so. Revel comes over and you see that um, her face is kind of dripping in water and she says, <sighs> My apologies for my raise in temper. I. I'm a slightly stressed about this journey and I'm very sorry Marv and she yanks the, the gag out <laughs> of your mouth. She says, but I will warn you that if you decide to call a place backwater in front of someone that lives there, you're probably not going to get a particularly pleasant reception. I thought that you were an intelligent man. Now my thoughts of you have lessened. I, I didn't know you were still behind me when I said but shut up, right? Like, that's you not what you should say be saying. That. So, a lack of common sense and intelligence, then. Are you my mother? <gasps> <laughs> you know what? I don't have to take this. And then I walk away in a really traipsy fashion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I'm just grumbling. <laughs> so, I go towards several and say, Look, 
we didn't really get along from the first moment. I personally don't really care to get to know you. Don't get offended. I mean, it's just, you know, I don't even know what are we gonna do. But, you know, he is just very sensitive. Mm. So, I'm considering leaving him behind. No, 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 no. We need someone, you know, it's just... A, I, he can do something. You've seen him during the fight. He might be worth. I mean, he's, he definitely cannot fight like us, but that's fine, I mean... And if at some point we cannot feed him anymore, we can leave <laughs> the animals, that's fine. Oh, we can take him. Yeah. Okay, roll persuasion. Nine. Six. <laughs> so she's not really convinced, but she says, Yes, yes. You, you're right, I am just not having a great day today. Oh, by the way, I don't, don't know if you wanted to go to our shop before... Yeah. ...we left. Yeah, that would be yeah, worth it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I actually was about to ask you. Where is this shop located? Uh, just a couple of doors down from the church. Okay. 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 Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. And I shout at him. Do you need anything? From Do you need anything from the shop? No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are walking towards the shop. Yeah. Oh, does it look like? Is it like? A, what does it? What? What? Is this shop about? What, what do they it sell looks like a normal house. Oh, okay. And it's slightly Tudoresque in style. So there, you can see that it's stone rails, really, with wooden sort of things trying to play patch it together. But it's kind of half falling into the swamp a little bit. But okay. um, it looks like a kind of witchy Tudor house okay. okay with a little with a little sign that's <laughs> creaking <laughs> ever so slightly okay so what do they sell in there is it like food or you don't know until you walk in okay <laughs> I'm, I'm confident walking okay. in the shop so um facing you is a very beautiful woman with okay. very long dark hair and kind of graying skin she says oh welcome you are part of the battle yes yeah um, well, on behalf of, of my village, thank you very much for, for saving the town um, from the orcs. Please feel free for a, a discount. Oh. And, mm -hmm. um, I sell lots of different types of wares of everything that I can get down here, but we are a, a trading town, so feel free to peruse. Okay. okay. So I look around, look around, I don't really know what to get. Do you sell dry, dry meat? Dry meat? How do you call that? Well, we got the food from the chef, so there's not much. Yeah, I know, I know, but I really like that. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look for dried meats. Yeah. Um. Yes, I, I have a, I have a little bit of, of dried meats, and she, she, gets out a dried kind of ham, and she starts slicing it. Oh. She's like, um, yeah, this is made from the chef. In um in the crocodile actually so um have a taste see what you think. Mm. It's really good, <laughs> right? Yes, please. Did just give me a gold, um a gold piece yes, worth. Yes, um, yes, Sure. And she slices up about half okay. of this meat. Okay. Are you gonna eat that all by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> we have got plenty of money from the dagger that we. I mean, whatever the the, the tray that we sold. That then you know. <laughs> and I put it in my bag. I look for ropes. Ropes? She does tell you that she has two types of rope. So I have a uh, hemp rope, which isn't very... It's it's quite strong, but it's not the best. Mm -hmm. It would probably be good for um, tying things up, but you probably wouldn't be able to climb very well mm -hmm. with it. And that's uh, 80 silver pieces. And I have silk rope, which is good for everything, which is seven gold pieces. Seven gold pieces. Well, let's blurge. Yeah, I'm gonna okay. get that. Sure. So she gets out um, the silk ropes, mm -hmm. and you see that it seems to have woven into it actual silk dresses, mm -hmm. very long silk dresses that um, have been woven into it, and you can feel that it is very, okay. very tough and very strong. Thank you, I like that. And does she sell any weapons or armor or anything? I'm just trying to understand if there's anything better than, than my axe. Really. She she says, well, uh, I don't really do very many weapons. I do the base weapons, but you'll probably 
be better to talk to a smith or someone that can add magic or silver to your weapons, but I don't do that sort of thing. Okay, that's fine. Let's just leave it there. She has a chain shirt currently going at the moment, which is a very um, dark, almost oil slick colour of chain. She says, uh, yes, I have this. This is... Um, this is a little bit stronger than what you have, and I can probably let this go for mm, 40 gold? 30? Mm, 30 Come on, I've already bought the, the rope. Well, it's it, it's usually 50. 35. 35? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Good. Did you, did you want to sell me your your current armour? Yeah, that would be good, it? if you want to keep it, if you want to get it. Of course, yeah, I can offer you... Mm, it looks a little... It's, it has seen a lot of fights, but it it's a good has, one. It's yeah. a good one, believe me. Drenched in the blood of priests. <laughs> it seems that it's just been repaired. Yeah, but uh, do you know what? I just, yeah, I wanted it. I keep it. Okay, sure, yeah. of course, yeah. Is there, is there anything else that you want to say? Yeah, I was wondering it? if, you know, if there's any... Some place where I can talk to a mage or... People who understand about magic. Um, I mean, the mayor is very good at magic. Mm. We don't really sell spells here, but we sell uh, gems, and I have some things like that, arcane focuses. No. And but yeah, the best person to speak with about magic is definitely the mayor. He's mm. very, very well versed in magic. Mm. 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 Okay, thank you very much. Can you roll perception, please? Uh, she or girl, can you also roll perception? 18. 19. You can see as soon as you mention magic, there's kind of like a slight twitch in her eye. Can I use detect magic? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, you can detect magic all around the shop. Like every conceivable place you can see, including herself, you can just detect a faint magic. Hmm. The magic you can detect is illusion. Okay. What are you hiding? There's no shop. You're still in the middle of the field. Ah, okay, there's a pig. Okay, 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 okay. Do I see her being weird or scenting stuff? You you can tell that her eye twitched. Yes. So I walk up to her, looking straight, look at him. <coughs> I mean, so. I walk up to her, looking at her straight in the eye, and like, are you alright there? Um, yes, why wouldn't I be? You don't look normal to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, and I start putting my arm, uh, my my hand on the axe, okay, like roll, towards the back, rather. Roll intimidation, please. Uh, 24. Are you, are you here to steal from me? No, I'm just... I feel odd, mm. and I don't usually feel odd unless I'm fighting with somebody who is not good. I can assure you I'm not a bad person. I'm just trying to understand if there's anything going on in this shop. So, I'm, and at this time I just try to... No. Calm down. Between me and you, I mean, I can clearly feel magic all around us, so... You know, just, we're, we're not here to lose time, honestly. Okay, so what, what is it that you want? I'm just trying to understand what's your business here and why you're claiming that you don't know shit about magic, but probably you do. Language. That is my language. No one can speak Orkish, she won't understand. That is my language. <laughs> Calm down. I, I, wait, I can... Um, I can understand Orkish, by the way. <laughs> so do you want me to growl at you, or would mm. you rather speak up? No, I just I just think that you you shouldn't guess that people can't do things. But you said so. How about magic? Maybe you're lying about Orkish as well. Mm. Okay, mm. so she goes and she closes the door, and she locks the door, mm. and she clicks, and twinkles start going rolling down the, the walls and all um, over her as well as you see that all of the some of the items that are on the shelves start changing into other items and she she's still in, in extremely beautiful but you can tell that she her skin has gotten a lot lighter and she is a she's an elf oh 
Well, hello. Um, so why doing all of this? Why are you hiding? Well, I have a lot of important wares for discerning customers that need protection during dangerous times. However, we do tend to be invaded sometimes and we get some not very nice people um, attempting to come into my shop. So I will only show my true wares or my extra wares to those who need them. Hmm. That makes sense? It does, but there's something else going on to me. I'm not, I cannot put my finger on it and I don't want to go any further than that, but I don't really buy onto that. But that's fine. What, what's the good stuff that you have then? You don't seem like a magic user yourself. No, but do you have any enchanted weapons or stuff? Still say that. There, what she presents to you is a very beautiful horn made of a very light ivory with sapphires seemingly snaked around, bound up with a very dark leather. She says, for a warring type such as yourself, I would say that you could use this. A lot of magical weapons require you to have some background in magic. This, however, does not. But I don't know if if it's something that would be worthwhile to you or if you would be able to afford it. How but much ask, would that be? Oh. It would be. All of your money to the copper piece. How much do you have? How much is it? It depends on how much you have. It depends on how much is it? Mm, I would usually let this go for 800 gold. 800, come on. However, you don't know what it does. However, I am in need of something particular. I would be willing to let you have this for a tenth of the price if you could do it. Do what? Kill the Spider Queen. Hmm. Okay. Oh my god. Well, why? And what do you know about the spider queen? Well, this may not be something you'd understand. She kind of puts the, the horn back down. Maybe you have been hearing calls yeah. during the night. Elves appear to be called down here very often to join the spider queen. And a lot of very good elves are being turned to darkness and becoming drow and I don't want that. So I ask you if I could speak to a magician or a major or anyone who could understand about that because I've been receiving dreams and, and even before I actually arrived to Ulvi. So are you telling me that this is because of her? What sort of magic do you what sort of magic do you use? Are you a sorceress or...? I'm a warlock. Ah, okay, well... It... And I'm sure that he is not the one who made me come here. Perhaps not. I mean, if you are an elf, then you may have been hearing the call. So what does a horn do then? You must say a specific word and blow upon the horn within 600 feet of this horn everybody must take precautions to cover their ears if they do not they will take a significant amount of thunderous damage most of the times i've seen it their ears bled as well as their eyes I like this. Mm. I really, really like this. Are you sure? So I can I collect it before killing the spider queen? 
Or do you want me to to bring you the proof of it? What do I have to do to get it now? I think you would need it to fight the Spider Queen and her consorts. I. You are Revel's lover, yes? We are <laughs> travelling together, yeah. Then I have a trust that I will get what I need out of this. Speaking of, I do have some potions that may help you in that manner. I don't think I need that. <laughs> and I look at her very angry and I'm like, probably you do or your lovers do, but not me. Ooh. Okay, well, if you don't like, you know, doing it for 48 hours or so, then that's I fine. am oh, happy God. as I am, alright? Okay. <laughs> so, before to leave... The 80 gold, of course. Yeah, sure. And by the way, I think you still owe me something. Let's start to think about it. Me? No, I give you everything. I give you the 275 gold that we got from Revel. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And I Don't give look you at the me. 80 pieces. I literally take out from my, my dress these and I show this to you. And I... And I say to her, I got this from an old woman uh, back in in the area where I used to live. And this really helps me with a skin problem hmm. that I have. And I carefully give, I kind of like, this is the last one I got. Do you have anything similar to this? Skin problem? Yes, let's call it skin problem. As in, it needs healing, or you don't want to see it? No, as I have something on my skin that hurts, and it's never gonna really heal. Uh, and it just doesn't really depends on me. I look at her and I'm like... <clears throat> so I carefully go towards her, so that he, he cannot see me. And I, I literally do this movement so that she can see my shoulder. Hmm. Ah, yes. Okay. I keep staring at you, right? Really? Well, I, you are the one with the devil horn, whatever it is, that is gonna kill people in 600 feet, whatever. I haven't blown it yet. Be careful about <laughs> it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill anyone, I'm just trying you to... You don't want to kill anyone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> don't have anything that would... Take it away. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not asking. It's not gonna go... We, we, I already tried. It's just... To... Sometimes it hurts a lot. Hmm. And... I just want to try to kind of like... Work on that at least. There is a spell. Mm. Mm, I don't really have anything. I have things that would reduce it in size for a, a time, but mm. they would still be pain. It would just be in mm. a lesser area. I don't seem to have anything that would fully take away the pain apart from healing potions, but that will usually heal more paralyzing mm. effects rather than something terminal but i do have a scroll mm. that could be cast to protect yourself from mm. the pain to take your mind away from it okay it would also slightly impede on your intelligence. Mm. You may feel heightened, mm. but you will feel no pain for the duration. That's that's fine. You know, I would probably try to use this last one very carefully mm. and I will see if I can go back to that <clears throat> old woman. I know that the there are it depends on where it is that you're traveling. If you are planning on traveling further south, you won't find it. But 
there are other elven communities that have alchemists who may be able to recreate or create something more mm-hmm. powerful. I am not personally an alchemist myself. I am a, uh, a magical trader. I can fix and repair but and reduce, but I don't really have the means of, of curing these things. Okay, I understand. What's your name, by the way? Alana. All right, shall we make a move? Uh, yeah. One second. Yes. You have been given a gift for... When I pay for it. Well, yes, but <laughs> a tenth is still a Still, that's a transaction. Gift. I have something for you that I think would be intriguing. Mm. I have a very wondrous item here. And she sprinkles this dirt. Okay. All you need to do to use this is sprinkle this over water. And once it's been absorbed, smash this. And when you throw the absorbed water at a person, they take quite an interesting effect of damage. Oh! And what should I give you for that? Well, we would say 40. Yeah, that's fine. And remember what I said, what you need to do, Mm. and how you need to use it. Okay. Does it have a name? Yes, the Dust of Dryness. Okay. I think you should give it a shot of marble. (laughs) I mean... Well, you could use your your horn and... I mean, if I use my horn, then yeah. (laughs) (laughs) It's okay, (laughs) Marv. Oh, and yes, there is a there is a specific word that you need to use to, you know. I was going to shout my language into mm. it as somebody like to call it, but yeah, if there is a specific word, then oh, you get to decide the word. But How you'll do need I... to you'll need to sit with the horn for an hour, sat quietly contemplating the specific word that you can use. But be very warned that this is a very loud horn. I am a very loud being. Hmm. I can be even louder than I was being with you. Just be mindful. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Feel free to look around if there's anything else you'd you'd like. I think I'm gonna make a move. What if you want to stay? I mean, I'm very I'm very curious to see to look around because I really like this kind of. I mean, I really I really feel myself in my environment. Mm-hmm. Uh, but right now, I think we really need to like travel and mm-hmm. like I'm okay for today. Mm. Well, Matt. Bye. Bye. I guess we shall see each other again. Maybe. Well, how would you know that he killed so... As Uh, as soon as the dream stopped, I will know. With haste, please. I still don't trust you, but I guess you gave me something. So, yeah, probably. It's okay, I, I, I don't need your trust. Well, me neither, but... So I walk up. I walk yeah, back I to, towards the wagon, and I'm trying to see where he's at. I'm just sat in the wagon. <laughs> okay, boxes. Ever since they've been gone, the chef and Revel have put boxes around you, and are kind of huffing and puffing because of the fact that you're clearly not moving. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, what well, What are you doing? Are you literally just sitting there sulking the entire time? Um, just contemplating the journey ahead. Okay, do you want to roll an insight? Yeah, it's five. <laughs> you feel slightly anxious about the journey ahead. Where's the king at the moment? 
He is sat in the bar still. Okay. Do I see him being down and be like... Yeah. Okay. So I walk up to him and I'm like, so what have you been doing? Just contemplating how on earth I'm going to put up with all of you. <laughs> <laughs> so let me rewind. <laughs> <laughs> Marv's trying to get himself killed this session. So he also doesn't like his character very much. <laughs> I saw you down, and I tried to ask you how you are. Yes. But we can have a conversation now. Yeah, as right. you can imagine, I'm so I am not a chatter myself, but I am trying here because yes. we have a big journey ahead. We do. And I'm so very... shall we rewind? Yes. Shall I ask you the same question again? Yes. I'm very sorry. Um, <laughs> how are you? I am. Um, Fine-ish, and we will get through this together. And I take a, a, a slice of uh, dry meat, and I give that. It's very good, you should try it. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Well then, I'll have that now. <laughs> a nibble. <laughs> a nibble whilst awkward. She didn't even that. offer it to me when she was buying it, so oh, it better be good. I'm, I'm very grateful, so I appreciate your kindness. <laughs> <laughs> and I show him an oar and like, so this is not like a oh. musical instrument per se. Can but I try it? No, you you don't really want to. Oh, but I was told that if we blow this horn correctly, we could pretty much see people getting deaf and blood come wow. out of their eyes. That so it should be a very powerful thing. That is not good music. <laughs> no. Wow. But we might have something good wouldn't in that, our heads. Wouldn't that do the same to us? Probably. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't try it now, but do you want to give it a blow and kill us all? Um, I think it's one of that kind of like situation that you do that only if you're about to die. Okay. Well, okay. well, 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 I am the one that actually organizes battles, so I know best when to Man, it. you have done something <laughs> that belongs to the past right now. You cannot benefit of that for the entire time. Okay, thank you. You got paid for that. That's it. I'm not gonna be, you know... Uh, showering you with compliments that you, you said. <laughs> just because... I said that and you should. But let's leave it there, shall we? Mm-hmm. All right. Whatever. Yeah. Well, uh, let's try not to blow that uh, anytime soon. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. We could actually hear what kind of sound it makes, shouldn't we? Yeah. yeah you maybe... can try maybe you alone, you two alone in the, the woods. Or oh, you're, oh, you're on your own in the woods. I'm sure we'll, we'll hear it from far away. You should. At a safe distance. And I mean, I would, be scared, I would be scared if you heard it, but yeah, alright. <laughs> Revel looks towards you and looks at the horn and goes... <sighs> That's good, isn't it? I'm sure. Um, yes, it is... Uh, it, it's very good at what it does. What do you know about it? I was in a battle where this was used against some of my comrades. I thankfully was not in its line of attack, but it's a lot. I'm gonna keep it safely, but maybe we won't have to use it, but if we do, then uh, I guess sacrifices will be made. Hmm. Yes, well, I just hope not to be on the end of it. No, you won't. Hmm. I kind of like I'm just very bored of him talking about how good is his horn. <laughs> <laughs> With Rebel. So I literally go back into the into the tavern looking for the for the king. The king is over the bar, over a beer at the moment. Hey! Are you okay? You ready to go? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yes, yeah. Yeah? Great. Maybe you should go outside. Let's go, yeah. Let's Do go. you have all your belongings that you... Yeah, I only bought a horse with me. Ah, okay. Yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> 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 That's brilliant. Okay. okay. Let's go. So, you are about to start on a two-month oh, adventure no. through the southwest of the Unbound Territories. Do any of you have a map? 
No. Nope. We should have both. You know, with all the we things. We should have fucking both of them. Or maybe Rebel has one. Yeah, I mean, guess Rebel is kind of like, you know. Did the king not bring any maps to get here? <laughs> or his entourage? He did not. But didn't bring any maps. For have we already journey. started the journey or can we <laughs> run back to no, the I guess we cannot now because <laughs> she just pointed it out. I will mean, we triumphantly leave and then run back to get a map. No, um, you don't you don't have a map. No. You um, don't have a map. Okay. You're going where your hearts tell you you should go. Okay. So Rebel, do you know where we're going? Where do you want, which way do you want to go? Well, see, I don't think I have a map. Maybe do you do? I do have a map, but it's about a decade out of date. I don't know if anything's changed. We can, we can well, go, we can go the route that I would usually take if I was going this way to the port, but I honestly don't know what's out there now. Yeah, I mean, do we have any other option anyway? King or rather Rolandus, do you remember anything it's about the, the king? Realm? Call him King. Your Majesty. <laughs> Your Majesty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do you know the road back, or do you remember anything that you might have seen while coming here? Uh, no. They they used magic to to get our way, but I always know the way north. So if we need, if you need to go north, I can take you north. Yeah. Excellent. We'll go north, Your Majesty. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Show us how. Um, he says, "What well, any time of day, you just need to draw two lines in the ground and see where the sun is. Oh. You do look up and see that it's pretty foggy. Well, what about when it's not so clear where the sun is? We'll have to wait for night time. Ah, ah that sounds good, doesn't it? So does that mean we need well, to... Well, we, we can sleep during the day, travel at night. Oh, uh, no! Me! No! Bad idea! No, <laughs> Re Revel's just like we'll we'll just we'll just go by my old map. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure we'll be absolutely fine. Yeah, ten year old map is better than no map. What what the <laughs> what's the <laughs> chef <laughs> what's the chef saying or doing? The, the, the chef currently is humming to himself and just chopping up a bit of carrot. <laughs> yes, what does the chef think? <laughs> Okay, right. I mean, um, I'm happy to follow Revel, like... Oh, yeah. I, I would follow her anywhere, but that's not... <laughs> oh. Are you romantic? <laughs> Bo.